Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Scientists all over the world continue to play God, and we are all going to have to live with the consequences. Every single day, incredibly bizarre experiments are being conducted in secret laboratories all over the world. I have frequently warned you about the strange experiments that are being developed in such laboratories, but other types of extremely sick experiments are happening as well. For example, it is being reported that one team of researchers has now been able to create a human entity that does not have a mother or father. In fact, it was created without using sperm, an egg, or a womb. Scientists report they have grown the early stages of a human embryo-like entity without using sperm, an egg, or a womb. The embryo model even releases hormones that triggered a positive pregnancy test. This is like something out of a science fiction novel. Why in the world would they even consider doing something like this? They are telling us that using such entities will make medical research easier, and frankly, that makes me want to vomit. There is no way that doing this sort of thing should be legal. But it is. This team of researchers was able to create a human entity without a mother or a father, by starting with naive stem cells. Instead of a sperm and egg, the starting material was naive stem cells, which were reprogrammed to gain the potential to become any type of tissue in the body. According to the BBC, chemicals were used to encourage these stem cells to develop into four unique cell types that are involved in the earliest stages of human embryo development. Epiblist cells, which become the embryo proper, or fetus. Trophoblist cells, which become the placenta hypoblast cells, which become the supportive yolk sac, and extraembryonic mesoderm cells. Those cell types were then mixed in a precise ratio, and what happened next is extremely alarming. A total of 120 of these cells were mixed in a precise ratio, and then, the scientists step back and watch. About 1% of the mixture began the journey of spontaneously assembling themselves into a structure that resembles, but is not identical to, a human embryo. Professor Jacob Hanna of the Wiesman Institute is the leader of the team that conducted this research, and he claims that the entity which was produced is really a textbook image of a human day 14 embryo. This is really a textbook image of a human day 14 embryo, which hasn't been done before, said Professor Hanna. If such an entity can't survive to that stage, could it go all the way and actually become a full-blown baby? Now that this breakthrough has been achieved, it is just a matter of time before someone tries to do that. And just imagine the implications if this eventually starts happening on a widespread basis. Babies could literally be grown on a massive scale all over the world. Instead of having children the natural way, parents could just order a baby that meets certain specifications. And any babies that came out with defects would inevitably be discarded. Alternatively, it is easy to imagine entire armies being grown by tyrannical rulers, just like we have seen in certain science fiction movies. Would such entities be truly human? Would they even have souls? There is so much that we don't know, and hopefully this sort of work will be banned, so that we will never find out. Unfortunately, there is very little holding the scientific community back at this point. Most of the general population has no idea what is going on in these secret labs, and most of our politicians don't seem to care. And so, science will continue to advance all over the world with very little resistance at all. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. 
In addition to experiments that are creating new life, researchers are also searching for ways to cheat death. In recent years, swapping blood with the young has become a very hot trend among America's billionaires. Here is just one example. Until recently, Brian Johnson was paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to infuse one liter of his teenage son's youthful plasma into his own aging bloodstream every month. I've never paid more attention to what he's eating because that was going into my body, the 46-year-old American tech entrepreneur says on new podcast The Immortals. He also pumped his own plasma into his 70-year-old father's body to help improve his declining physical and cognitive health. It was one of the most meaningful moments in his entire life. And it was the same for me. Johnson continues to pay $2 million a year for a research team to investigate how we can live longer, and he is certainly not the only rich guy in Silicon Valley dedicated to the search for eternal life. Guys like Johnson have more money than they will ever need. But they know that their days are limited. So, in a desperate attempt to buy more time, they are literally injecting the blood of young people into their own veins. This is another thing that shouldn't be done. And it is probably dangerous. But nobody is going to stop them. In fact, the pace of scientific change will continue to march forward at an exponential rate. Given enough time, our world would be transformed into something stranger than anything that Hollywood has ever dreamed up. But our scientists won't have enough time to do that, because the truth is, that time is running out for our society. Our self-destructive tendencies will soon absolutely overwhelm us, and no amount of research will be able to turn things around at that point. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.